Hey guys, what's up? Swapnil here, and today I'm talking about a new trend in rideshare technology. Scooters. That's right, electric scooters. We've had this trend start recently here in Atlanta, just a couple weeks ago, and it's brought to us by a company called Bird. Now Bird is bringing a variety of scooters and leaving them all around the city for people to use for just a dollar at a time. So basically you have to find a Bird, uh, you have to scan it with your phone, you can use an app that can be found in either the App Store or the Android Play Store, and basically you scan the bird and you say that I want to ride it and you pay a dollar to activate the bird and then you pay 15 cents for every minute that you ride it. Now this can get pricey at times. For me it takes about two to three dollars to go around campus, about 10 minutes to ride all the way through. So depending on how far you go, what you want to do, that can get kind of pricey. But for those of you who don't want to walk around too much or want to get somewhere faster, the bird is definitely a great option. Now you might wonder how charging works. So charging is not solar powered as some of the environmentalists might love. Uh, it's actually done through a set group of chargers, which anyone can sign up to be. Basically at night, these chargers go out and grab any birds that they can find. They bring them back to their houses and charge them using their own electricity. And then they have to return these birds back to designated areas called nests. Yeah, it's pretty punny, right? Now depending on how long the birds have been left inactive or if the bird was lost or a variety of factors, you can make anywhere from five to I think around $20 off each bird that you charge. So there's people who made, you know, about $200 charging 10 birds. People make $5 charging one bird. So it's, it's pretty crazy out there. Now I wouldn't say that charging birds is a good way to make constant revenue. Um, a lot of times in major cities there's already a set group of people who are charging most of the birds. So it's kind of hard to keep charging a bunch of birds with steady revenue, unless you've already been doing that since day one. But I will say, even if it's hard to make money off of them, they are still super fun and super easy to ride. Now when you get on your bird, there are three major rules you have to follow. One, you have to be over 18. Two, you have to have a driver's license. And three, you have to be wearing a helmet. My shots with the birds have been a majority of sidewalk time. But the moment you get on the road, you legally are required to wear a helmet and have your driver's license on you. Now, to be honest, BERT isn't all about fun and games. There have been a lot of problem problems recently. And I can personally say that in the last couple of weeks that the birds have been in Atlanta, I have not seen a single person ride them with a helmet on. This has led to a lot of accidents, both with riders on their scooters and also with riders who hit innocent pedestrians who are trying to cross the street. There's also been a lot of reported fraud between chargers who are trying to make more money than they actually should be making off of charging their birds. Now, Bird is still a new company and they're still working out all the kinks, so I think we should give it some time and see how they do in the future. And if I get any more information on how they're dealing with these problems, I'll let you know in a future video. At the end of the day, I would say that birds are a very, very cool technology. Uh, honestly, being a college-going student, transportation here can be a little bit iffy. Uh, the college buses aren't always really reliable and it can be good to have a you know, guaranteed way to get to class that you can decide. So just grab a bird, get to class, ride it back, get some lunch, you know, whatever you want to do. And I think it's super cool that this is becoming a common thing. I also think it's super cool how this is a very viable option for people who don't want to put the money down for a boosted board or other type of electric vehicle and you know, because that can cost a couple hundred dollars. So all I can say at this time is get out there, try the birds, Download the app and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time.